Alright guys, so you're going to watch me either epically win or, or epically fail at making my first uh, espresso. Um, I just bought these stuff, this stuff here today, and I went to World Market, bought it. Actually, I bought this stuff at Meijer, because um, the stuff, the espresso, the ground espresso that I found at World Market was like 10 bucks for the same size, and this stuff is pretty good. I've had it a few times, and this was only $4. So Cafe Bustelo, I think that's how you pronounce it, definitely give it a go. Um, uh, you could find it pretty much any, seems like any major market, uh, like Walmart, Meijer, um, I'm sure you could find other places like Kroger too. But uh, yeah, this stuff is pretty good. And I love me some uh, hazelnut, so I got a little mini bottle of this Tarani syrup stuff. Um, use only ground coffee. Fine ground can clog the filter and create a high pressure. Okay, so maybe this is fine grounded. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So, okay, just a little spoon there. Put that in. Uh, I say it's about four ounces. I don't know. We'll just this is all just experimental, so so I got my little mini whisk. So excited. I'm more excited about this stupid little whisk than I am actually making espresso right now. It's kind of funny. So I'm just gonna keep whisking, 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 whisking. Oh, it says use plastic spoon. Metal school spoons can scratch or chip the glass and cause breakage. Well, this is metal, but I'm being real gentle here. It's a baby. All right, it has been four minutes, and uh, hopefully this is going to work. Again, I'm not sure if this stuff is fine grounded or not, um, so it might cause like a seal in here and clog up my filter. But hey, that's why I'm doing a video, so you guys can learn the hard way. So, it says to use hold with one hand. You know, a nice flat surface here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly press down on the on the plunger up here. So, let's see. If you can see that, you can see the plunger halfway down. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. Just turn this, and if you can see, there's a little bit, there's graded things, so all the leftover tiny particles will hopefully get caught in there. And then we just pour and enjoy. Now that's probably about a shot of espresso right there. So let me sample it here. Holy cow, that's good. You know, I think it's a little bit light in color right now, but, you know, I'm just getting used to the, the ratio here. That's awesome. And uh, again, I'm not going to use cream. I'm just going to use some hazelnut flavoring. And I'll just put a little dollop in there. And this should be perfect for cigars. Nice strong espresso. Um, a little flavoring. Maybe if I want, I can froth some milk up next time. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And then my pastor, he's half Cuban. And he taught me how to make Cuban coffee, which is like... Strong, strong coffee with a ton of sugar. So maybe I'll do that sometime as well. But that's it for now. You guys enjoy your day.